Straight. Lasorda's taken over the team, and all of a sudden, Sinatra starts coming to the ballpark, and um, all these actors start coming to the ballpark. Right. Ripples comes to the ballpark. So I'm sitting on the bench, you know, like you do, sitting there. Uh-huh. And the kid comes down, and he said, Tommy, yeah, you, you got to go up to Lasorda's office. And I look down like this, and Lasorda's down at the end of the bench. <laughs> so I get up, I walk upstairs to his office, and it, the door's locked. I knock on the door, and the door opens, and here in his Dodger blue sleeve sweatshirt and his tidy whiteies is Don Rickles. He said, Come in, shut the door, and lock it. And I said, Rickles, I'm not that kind of a guy. He said, get in here, you effing putts. Get in here. I need you. I have what? He said, I'm going to be ball boy. And you're the only guy on the team I could trust <laughs> to dress me. Oh, that's funny. So I, said, okay. I said, the big thing that guys will look for is you miss a belt loop. Uh-huh. He said, okay. So he, <laughs> he goes... And he gets dressed, and I look at him like this, you know. You look good to me. And he pats me on the butt, and he said, I owe you. Okay. (laughs) Well, then, when Lasorda brought him in to be the sports psychologist, Uh Dodger locker room was laid out A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And they did it that way so the players couldn't get together and form clicked. Oh, okay. He said some things that, to this day and age, you couldn't say them. That's how bad they were. <laughs> so he gets done, and he gets down Dusty Baker, this guy, this guy, Bert Hooten, Charlie Huff, Tommy John. Tommy John. Debt's paid. <laughs> and the guys go, what was that all about? I said, ah, something I did for him. <laughs> but... But he was, Rickles was so friggin' funny. I, I loved him. And, you know, he was one of the nicest men I've ever, ever been around for just being nice. Right. Yeah. yeah. I met Rickles at the Orleans one night. We went backstage and nice enough to meet him. But I like, he's, he looked like a, a shriveled up old man sitting there. He had his robe on. He's talking for a little while. He gets on stage. It's a whole new person. A whole new person. Yeah. Oh my God. He's running around. He's jumping. He's talking. I was like, wow, that's uh that was amazing. But yeah, he was he was one of a kind. You couldn't have a Rickles today. You could not have a Rickles today. It would be hard. All of our Herkimer diamonds, whether they're in their natural form or calibrated form or jewelry or clusters or in the host rock, we're the source. So we sell a lot of product to a variety of people throughout the world. 